guys, I want to talk a little bit about slide guitar. Um, well, it kind of begins with um, which kind of slide you want to use, how you want to set up your guitar, because all that's pretty important. I've been playing for a lot of years, so um, I can play with pretty low action. But really, ideally, I mean, even if I was going to record something, I would probably just thumb screw my strings up a little bit just to give it a little bit more leeway. That only makes physical sense that if you're pressing down, you don't want to be you don't want to be clanking into the frets, although some guys do, for the intonation you can hear, they're actually clanging, really almost like fretting with the slide. Now, I grew up listening to, to Dwayne Allman, so I always like the sound of like electric guitar at high volume with the Pyrex or with the, um, the kind of glass slide. There's so many of them, you know, there's metal ones. I have some big, heavy brass ones that I use sometimes if I'm playing a dobro or a guitar that needs to project a little more sound. But I find this works really beautiful. I've also um, predominantly play on my treble pickup. That picks up all the little harmonics that your fingers used. I mean, I think that's the sound I always seemed, whenever I seem to get closer to the Dwayne sound, Dwayne Allman, um, it was always the kind of the treble pickup with the, uh, with the uh, treble adjusted back, so it's like killing you. And, um, yeah, I would think the first thing to do is just get comfortable holding one. Because um, a lot of guys, you can, I can feel their awkwardness as soon as they pick it up for the first time. So one thing is just to get used to, um, to getting this slide on and finding one note. I mean, that's actually a good place to start. Um, a lot of guys, the traditional blues guys, a lot of them do a real fast vibrato, vibrato effect like that. <laughs> Which is okay, that was never my deal. Um, I like the more singing vocal qualities that a slide or a pedal steel. And that's a little more, um, uh, and it's a little harder to do, I think, because you have to be more precise with your intonation. Um, but what you can do, check this out. And I've even done this on gigs when my ear wasn't quite up to snuff that night for whatever reason. Um, if you, most guys have a tune, uh, tuner on their pedal, um, on their pedal board. So just go. Now, having said this, I mean, I pick with my fingers as well. That's a different sound than if I go. I pick with my fingers, which gives it a softer. And that might be a good habit to get into. Just take one finger, middle finger, whatever you feel like. And I'm kind of, for right now, I'll, I'll do another lesson on muting. But for right now, I'm just kind of like leaning the, my thumb and stuff on the strings to you don't want all that stuff going on at, a, at, at when you have distortion um, or at all. But sometimes I'll just go and I'll actually look at the note uh, on my tuner and see if I'm, if I'm too sharp or flat. And just, you know, kind of crawl around and experiment down the same scales you play without a slide. You That I would think be the first step just to get the sound a little under control. So try that for now, just one note at a time, make it sing. I like to hit it slow, I hit it with no vibrato. Then add a little shake to it, it gives it more of a vocal quality to my ears. <laughs> 